so it's Sunday and usually Sunday's my painting day but I've got a real low energy day today so really sleepy tired so it's taken me quite a while to get into the studio and when I have days like this I like to try and at least come and sit in the studio even if I'm just watching an art video because I find once I'm in here then if I suddenly get that little spark of oh yeah let me try something like that I've got things around me so I can sort of grab them and just play and that's basically what I've started to do today sitting watching various different art videos and just felt like painting so that's um yeah just picked up um a few of my um not so favorite colors that i don't usually use so it almost feels like if i make a mess it's paint that's not really wasted because it's colors i don't really use um and just put some paint down on the page and see where it goes so let me show you what i've done and um i'll do another one to show you so this is what i've come up with um I have to say, I picked out colours that I ordinarily don't use, which are the sort of green and um, the raw sienna. Not colours that I find easy to use. I like my yellow ochre, and I thought that was just a good mix in. Um, and all I've done is just laid some colour down using my silicone brush, just really not thinking at all. And then gone in with a few Posca markers just to make a few extra marks on. And the video I've been watching, um, uh, the YouTuber Sandy Hester, who I like to watch, um, she is always painting birds. So I thought, oh, let's just sit and, sit and do some birds and do a bit of negative space. So that was my grand plan. So I'm just going to do the same again, really. So let's try and vary it slightly. Perhaps this time we'll have a bit of a tree in the middle. shaken bunny <laughs> so fun of these though what does it matter if it doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like it it's just doing something creative that doesn't involve a lot of energy just a little bit of the brown just to sort of tone it in and off we go and I will try not to get my head under the camera so what's uh, fun about this is these were actually little parts of the background um, which I'm going to include in and I'm not trying to fill in the, the sort of space completely solid. I like the fact that you get these little bits of colour poking through. That's all part of the fun.
also I seem to have painted somewhere between a hare, a rabbit and Gromit the dog but who cares it's fun and it's quite, I quite like when I'm low energy just painting it's almost like colouring in just sitting and painting and this doesn't require a lot of concentration it's just about working out which bits to leave and which bits to paint in so yeah I quite enjoy that good fun What shall I do on this one? Uh, I did my badly drawn hairs on the other one and birds, so I thought I'd colour in with some cat um, silhouettes on this one. So I printed this off um, on Pinterest just to give me a little bit of inspiration. So let's see if I can draw some cats. But again, I'm not really fussed about the results, it doesn't matter if my cats are a bit ropey. It's just to do something and have fun. So let's go back again with my dog. Okay. just one little idea that you can do on those days when your energy is low and your mood is low but you you know that doing something creative and arty will make you feel that a little bit better and by the end of doing those two sketchbook layouts I was all fired up and ready to go and ended up doing lots more which will all come in another video um, so I find once I get started quite often um, it's just that little nudge to get going and start making something and once I get a bit of paint on paper or get my pens out um, you're off and running so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please do like and subscribe and um, I will see you next time <laughs>